contestants compete in a game show like no other. The question is... I don't know. Uh-oh. No, no, no. Choosing the correct answers can win you $50,000. What's up, baby? But choose just one wrong answer. The wrong answer is... And you're gone. sent Gustav down with the tractor and picked you guys up. You didn't have to walk. It's all good. How we doing? Good, pretty good. Welcome <laughs> to my ranch. It's been the family for at least 300 years. Woo. I figure no better place to host the most insane game show in the history of television than my Woo. ranch. <laughs> By day's end, one of you is going to be able to put the title winner on your resume. With that title, $50,000. And the game could not be more simple. All you have to do is answer the question correctly, you stay in the game. However, you get the question wrong, you are going to be ejected from the show, and we have 101 different ways to do that. <laughs> Before we get started, I'm going to divide you guys into two groups. We're going to start with these guys up front. Why don't you guys hang over there and enjoy the fun? <gasps> to stay in the game and compete for $50,000, all you got to do is get this question right. If you don't, you're off the show, and here's how. Each of you will be standing inside one of those giant snare traps over there. My family has used those to catch trespassers, Bigfoot, and other mythical beasts <laughs> that roam the land. If you choose the right answer, you move on. If you choose the wrong answer, I am going to cut the safety line. You are going to shoot 100 feet in the air to become food for the giant vultures that live in the area. I call this one nothing but net. Oh, my God. That doesn't look good. That does not look good. Before I ask you that question, I like to play a little game to determine the order in which you're going to answer. Everyone take one of these boards, pass it down. Write down how many letters are in the word supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. <laughs> Closest to that correct number gets to go first, second. You guys get the idea. All right, let's see the answers. Flip them around. Ian went with 32, Gina 28, Robert 45, and Jasmine 22. It's a long word. It's a long word. <laughs> All right, there are actually 34 letters in the word supercalifragilisticexpialidocious, which means Ian goes first, Gina second, Robert third, and Jasmine fourth. Everyone follow me. I have a question I want to ask you guys, but before the question, here are the answers. Frozen steaks, a magazine, home security systems, and finally, a university. What? And the question is, which three of these has discriminating businessman Donald Trump marketed under his name? Maybe you want to knock off early today. I don't know. I feel pretty good. You can do it. America runs on Duncan. Wow. Three of those are right, one is wrong. Avoid the one wrong answer. Ian, we're going to start with you. What do you do for a living? I am a DJ. You are a DJ. What's your I DJ am. name? DJ Spectrum. Is that because of the glasses? Yes, and because I have different colored glasses. Ah. So it's like Spectrum of Color, Specs. Drop a beat. <laughs> this party may never stop. There it is. But you know, we're going to put it on pause. Very nice. <laughs> We're looking for something Donald Trump has put his name on. Frozen steaks, I could see maybe Donald Trump getting involved in that because he can use his catchphrase, you fired, to cook the steaks. His words are that powerful that it can cook a steak. <laughs> they are. It's great. You're fired. Medium rare. <laughs> uh, magazine makes sense. He's, you know, high luxury. I'm going to go ahead and stick with magazine. Okay. Gina, over to you. Yeah. Gina, what do you do for a living? I work as a concierge. Do they, they pay a lot? Robert, whose show is this? <laughs> All right, Gina. <laughs> For some reason, I feel like frozen steak sounds like something I might have read about a long time ago. I think you need to go to university. He 
He's a big, he's a big guy. Oh, really? <laughs> Look at Rob. He's Robert's so trying to get into your head. He's a big guy. He's got influence. Is that what you're going to say? Is if, that what if you don't, I am. I'm going to go with frozen steaks. Robert, over to you. He already kind of started his mind games. Well, I was, try I was trying to psych her out. Well, we have home security systems and a university. The rich people, they need something to have secured themselves in and, and do all of that stuff. So I'm going to go with the home security system. OK, you're going with that. Very good. Jasmine, over to you. Jasmine, what are you going to do with the $50,000? I am going to throw a birthday party for Chanel, my dog. At the ranch. And I'm DJ. And you're going to throw a $50,000 birthday bash. Yeah. Wow. Let's talk out your answer. Oh, wait a minute. You don't have a choice. <laughs> you are going with a university. You feeling good about that answer? Yeah, because a university is a big way to get your name, like, out. Let's be honest. He needs to get his name out there. Not too many people Nobody know Nobody knows him. <laughs> OK. No. Everyone's got their answers. It's oh time to find out oh, no. <laughs> who's leaving 101 ways to leave a game show. You look nervous. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. I'm going to cry. <laughs> Seriously? Uh, no. oh my this, God. this knife is sharp. I'm really yeah. afraid of you. <sighs> Ian went with magazine. Gina went with frozen steaks. Robert, home security systems. And Jasmine University. I hate heights. This might not be the stunt for you. I know. You guys want to find out who's safe? Yes. Yes. I don't. The wrong answer no, 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 is... No, 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 no,